Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambo channel. Well, price remains turbulent to say the least. Admittedly, over the last 24 hours, perhaps it's not as volatile as uh, it has been the couple days preceding that. But nonetheless, we're in the world of crypto here, and it's fascinating to track this stuff. Now, in this video, I'm going to be trading, uh, sharing with you opinions from all sorts of traders and chart analysts. Um, there's one on your screen right now that uh, thinks 30 cents uh, perhaps is in the cards. The space to reclaim it, as they say here. I've also got this article I want to run through, and it's titled Bitcoin Remains in Bear Market According to Trading Legend Peter Brandt. Uh, now that's fascinating, and again, I'll, I'll run through the, the piece in just a moment here, but uh, Peter Brandt, um, he's a very prominent trader for sure. He's He's been trading for several decades. He's got a best-selling book on Amazon and over 300 followers on the Twitters. And uh, he previously stated, pretty recently, uh, I can't remember the exact timeline, at some point within the last couple of months, I want to say, it was probably the beginning of 2020, I could be mistaken, but somewhere there about, uh, he said that the, the bottom was in for Bitcoin. And it was, I think it was 6,500, maybe it was 6,000, but somewhere around there, he said the bottom was in, and uh, that was the end of the bear market. So I was a little surprised to see this headline here, but uh, I'll be digging in in a moment here. But uh, before we go any further, if you would please delicately tap that like button. And um, you know what? Uh, if you would please go ahead and at least consider subscribing to the Moon Lambo channel. Just know that from the from the bottom of my, my big, big heart here, I would very much appreciate that. Uh, the XRP community has just been absolutely great. And I have a blast running this channel. And so if you haven't subscribed yet and you don't completely hate me... Maybe give it a go. You know, it's not like uh, I'm not asking you to marry me here. You know, you, you can you back out pretty easily here. So just, just give it a go. See how it goes. And if it's not for you, I won't be offended here. I promise you that. I got a thick skin anyway. So anyway, the uh, the market cap for the crypto asset class is at $249 billion. Bitcoin is sitting at 8756 And XRP just hit $0.24. Cents. And I remember looking at this a little bit earlier today. And XRP at that time was probably like 23.7 cents, with the 24-hour low being 22.9 cents. Um, this is the 24-hour chart on your screen right now for XRP. And here's the 24-hour chart for Bitcoin, which, uh, you know, looks pretty darn similar. I mean, that's practically the same. Man, it's just astonishing. Is it not astonishing here? All right, let's dig into the first piece now. Bitcoin remains in bear market according to trading ledger Peter Brandt. All right. Uh, according to longtime trader Peter Brandt, Bitcoin is still in a bear market uh, territory, despite the fact that its price rallied more than 95% in 2019 and started this year on a high note. Brandt believes that the current bear market has already lasted 26 months. And so they, they, they show a tweet on the screen here from somebody I'm not familiar with named uh, Spunkit on Twitter who wrote, Market going down while crypto is going up. Your thoughts. And that was a reply to Peter Brandt. And Peter Brandt, Peter Brandt did respond and wrote this. I am constructive on Bitcoin, but let's look at facts. Bitcoin has been in bear market for 26 months. Not exactly a bull trend. And then the piece continues here. After surging to nearly $20,000, the price of Bitcoin crashed by nearly 28% in a span of one week at uh, the end of 2017, after a short-term recovery in January, the leading cryptocurrency continued spiraling downwards and reaching the ultimate bottom at $3,100 level in December 2018. In Q2 2019, there was a Libra-fueled rally that pushed Bitcoin to its yearly high of $13,777, then a 50% correction humbled the bulls. After a strong start in January, Bitcoin's worst February performance since 2014 once again leaves it at a crossroads. All right, uh, next. XRP price has space to reclaim 30 cents if the following happens. Well, what's the following? You're leaving me hanging there. Tell me what it must be. Uh, so here we go. Dutch crypto analyst Michael Vandepop has taken to Twitter to address the community and share with them a prediction on the XRP price. The analyst is looking at the XRP slash USDT and XRP slash Bitcoin pairs. The third most valuable coin has a chance to return to the 28 to 30 cent highs, he says, 
if it first reclaims the 24 and a half cent level. And mind you, again, as I cited just a, a couple minutes ago, XRP, as I record this, is right at 24 cents. So not terribly fall, far off anyway. And there's the tweet on the screen indicating what I just cited to you there. Uh, um, and then they have the subheading here. A tether is more liquid than XRP. Um, you know, that's actually outside the scope. Actually, I, I did not mean to cover that, and I'm not going to because that's outside the scope of what I intended to cover in this video. It's not related to price action, which is all I'm intending to cover here. Uh, apologize for that. Next, uh, top three price predictions, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and XRP. Any pattern signaling end of decline? Question mark. I'm just going to jump down to the XRP part. Now, by the way, this is from um, chart analyst Dennis Surachuk with Crypto Media Outlet U today. We're just going to go down to the XRP part. Scrolly, scrolly, scrolly. Here we go. XRP is the smallest loser as the coin has dropped by 4.56% in the past day, which is much less than Bitcoin and Ethereum. On the four-hour chart, XRP is much more bullish than other top coins. Taking into account the ongoing correction of the whole crypto market, the coin is not being dumped, which means that the long-term scenario is bullish. In terms of the nearest price prediction, there is a high probability of a sideways trend in the range between 24 and a half cents and 25 cents, as the MACD indicator is still under buyer's control. Of course, with MACD being the freshest artist in all of hip hop. Um, XRP is trading at 23.33, I'm sorry, 23.38 cents at press time. So it's a little bit earlier today and it has come up a smidge. All right, next, uh, this is uh, from Rakesh Upadeh, who is a chart analyst with Cointelegraph. And uh, he gave opinions about all sorts of cryptocurrencies in this piece, but I'm just going to scroll down to the XRP part because this is an XRP-centric channel, damn it. And that's what Moon Lambo wants to do, so I'm going to do it. After the sharp fall on February 26th, the bulls attempted a pullback on February 27th, but they could not propel XRP above the 200-day SMA at 25.2 cents. The failure to rise above the 200-day SMA and the neckline of the head and shoulders pattern is likely to attract further selling. On a break below the 22.25 cent to 21.3 cent support zone, the decline can extend to 18 cents, yikes, which is the target objective of the head and shoulders breakdown, with the 20-day EMA sloping down and the RSI in negative territory, the advantage is with the bears. Our negative view will be invalidated if the XRP slash USD pair reverses direction from the current levels are one of the supports and sustains above 28.5 cents. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen here because, uh, again, I'm not, uh, I'm not a chart analyst and not going to pretend to be somebody I'm not. But I'll tell you what, if, if XRP does go back to 18, per, 18 cents, there will be plenty of people out there that will be joyous. And, not, and I'm not talking about just the, uh, the, the, the Bitcoin maxis and trolls out there. I'm talking about people in the XRP community that would love that buying opportunity. So to some, I get, I get it's not, I'm not saying I want the price to go down. I'm just saying if it happens, yeah, worse, worse things can occur in life, right? Uh, all right, next, here's a tweet from chart analyst Leb Crypto. Hashtag XRP. And he is, he's got a, a chart, which I'll put full screen in just a moment here, but he wrote, uh, Next week kicks off mission, smiley face, question mark, exclamation point. So presumably, he seems to be thinking that, uh, and this is a, an XRP slash USD chart here, seems to be thinking that potentially going to be going notably to the upside XRP price there. Uh, next, here's another one from Love Crypto, Bitcoin on the weekly. Currently seems to be bouncing off the mid-band uh, 20 weekly and so, bullish. So he sees the Bitcoin chart as bullish as well. And he writes, let's wait for this uh, weekly close for further confirmation. RSI and squeeze momentum indicators looking really good on the weekly too. And uh, this is the chart. So this is the Bitcoin slash USD chart. All right, next. Here's a tweet from Patty Stash, another chart analyst. And he writes, we're only a few months away from the biggest bull run the crypto market has ever seen. Only a matter of time before we're in the trillions. Well, I'll tell you what, I don't know when that's going to happen, but I am one of those individuals that subscribes to the concept of this asset class ultimately being in the trillions, and I'll not be surprised if some individual coins, whether it's one or two or three or who knows how many, I will not be surprised if you fast forward decades from now, and there are at least some coins that on their own have at least a trillion dollar market cap. That would not surprise me in the least. All right, uh, next, here's another tweet from Patty Stash. 
A little reminder to what happened to most small cap altcoins from the start of the bull run to the end of the bull run. Average daily volume in, volume in the 1K range turns to millions a day, then at the peak, hundreds of millions a day. This is why I say load now. And so what he's commenting about is a tweet that he put out in June of last year. And it, it is kind of fascinating just to think through. I just want to share with you just because it's purely fascinating to me. But just the concept, like here, here's, here's what the tweet says. He's talking about a cryptocurrency called PIVX, which I've heard of. I don't know anything about it. But uh, this is from June of 2019. He wrote, an idea of perspective regarding volume, PIVX was trading at $500 to $3,000 a day for months prior to pump. So that's essentially nothing. Um, in terms of like a XRP volume, I mean, shoot here, I'll just pull up the chart for the fun of it here. Let's see what it was. Volume, uh, 1.026 billion in the last 24 hours. So we're talking about $500 to $3,000 in volume for this coin. So just effectively nothing, right? And so he writes that, and then he says, then it went from $3,000 a day to $5 million a day. At the peak of the bull run, it was trading upwards of $150 million a day in volume. So many coins are at one. So <laughs> that's just kind of mind-blowing, but it goes to show you when there's a cryptocurrency out there that is so illiquid, it's easy to ramp up in an insane fashion here. And those, though, like for me, because I'm not interested in being a trader, I just want to invest based on fundamentals. Like I, I'm not trying to chase a like necessarily a quick buck here. That's not what I'm doing. And so I know lots of people want to be involved in stuff like that and small cap coins, and maybe you'll have tremendous returns. And if you do, hey, I'm happy for you, super duper. That's the type of stuff I'm not willing to touch. That's, there's a reason I have not bought um, um, anything but XRP. In terms of cryptocurrency, I haven't bought anything but XRP from 2018 onwards because I believe that utility actually matters there. That's just my entire investment thesis. And so don't want to mess with the stuff. And if I miss out on opportunities, so be it. I don't want to take on that level of risk. I'm not willing to. Uh, here's a tweet from Josh Rager to wrap up this video. Bitcoin, one of the last few, th I'm sorry, one of the few things that will change my mind about buys is order flow. Got along at $8,550 with stop loss. If this fails, we'll stagger longs in uh, the 8200s, followed by the 7900s. That's my plan. And that was a retweet of a, a, a um, another tweet from Cantering Clark, who was another chart analyst, who wrote, Seems like if we are able to trade back above $8,600, we should get some relief. A lot of commits down into the low and yet price still holding ground. From a probability standpoint, do you think the RR from here favors shorts Bitcoin? And so that'll do it for this one. Thank you so much for stopping by. I think you're a super duper person. I am not a financial advisor. Do not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Lambeau!